I think for me, my eyes opened to agape love <clears throat> during my eating disorder. Um, my family was really hateful to me, and they would lock me out of the food. They were just so sick. Um, but then I met nurses and doctors that they didn't judge me. They said, you, you have a problem. And they never were mean to me. They were just really, really sweet and nice, and we talked. So I guess St. Albans was the start of what I would call agape love. Um, so, and then my artist friends, too. Over, over time, I, I kind of met artist friends that were kind-hearted to me, even though I had issues still with my eating disorder and then with the baby that my dad disowned me. He said I couldn't be part of the family anymore because they had higher standards. Um, so then as I got older, I think I cherished other people, too, because I had that love of not being judged but trying to be understood. Um, the judgment is so tough. And I did the New York City Fund. We did the, the 4-H club, which was beautiful. Um, you know, swim team. I, and we did the New York City. We, I pulled the kids out of New York City and we took care of them and that was great. And then, of course, I went to the city in Richmond and I saw a real driving need of trying to understand what was going on in the hood. I was like, what is going on here? And I was very curious. So I went there and it's kind of blossomed from there. I think as an artist, just trying to understand people and, and understanding the psychology of fight and flight and how to change it through education, creative education all over the world. Um, you know, terrorism doesn't really scare me. I'm like, these are just people. These are people that we have to fix. They're in a terrible environment. They don't have connections in China. And I look all over the world and I see everybody has issues. Um, but then I'm like, but maybe we can make it better as creative artists. And that's what's beautiful about the artist is that we study creative educational tools. And if we put our brains to it, I think with today's age of technologies, we can fix and, and be a better world. It's not going to be perfect. I mean, we're still going to have monsoons and all that kind of stuff. But, but yeah, you know, with people working together, I, I think it's going to be beautiful. I really think it's going to be better. Thank you.